I'd like today to look at how you can separate a soluble solid from a liquid. Today I have a mixture of sodium chloride and water. So sodium chloride is soluble in water and we want to see how we can get back our sodium chloride from the water. So what am I going to do first? Okay, I'm going to measure 10 centimeters cube of the sodium chloride solution. There, I'm measuring it. Then I'm going to transfer into an evaporating basin and place it on the flame. So after placing it on the flame, we allow it to heat and let allow the water so that the water can evaporate. You can drive out excess water by evaporation. Remember to use a non-luminous flame, as we said in our previous videos, that a non-luminous flame is very hot and also it does not produce soot. So we are heating our solution to drive out the excess water through evaporation. Remember to be patient, so as to drive out all the water. And remember, as soon as you notice that we have driven out the water, the sodium chloride normally normally spits out of the evaporating basin. So once it starts spitting out, remember we are supposed to transfer it onto what we call a water bath so that it can evaporate slowly to avoid the spitting out. Good. You can see you are driving out the excess water. Already there is some spitting which is occurring but just be patient so that you make sure you have driven out the water good our solution is boiling and you can see evaporation is already taking place so remember once we have driven out the excess and you see a salt forming. We are going to transfer it onto a water bath so that it can evaporate slowly to avoid the spitting out of the sodium chloride salt. Yeah, we are just about to get what we want. Good. Remember always we can observe to see if the salt is forming. Once it starts forming, it means our solution is already saturated and are ready to form the crystals. However, in this case, we are just going to drive out the excess water using evaporation and we are going to use a water bar to avoid the spitting out of the salt during that process. salt already you can see there's some sign of the spitting happen yeah good so the salt is just about to form the spitting out is evident yeah, you can see there's some salt which has jumping out of the if I use the word jumping and jumping out of the evaporating basin but of course the correct word is spitting out. Good. So our solution is just about to be ready. Good. Remember you have to be very patient for you to get good results. I think our solution is ready. So I'm going to move it from the flame. Wow, it's very hot. I'm going to move it on the flame. Good. Then have it. Then place the water bath on the flame so that it can continue boiling. Remember I boiled the water initially so it will not take so much time to boil. I had already boiled the water so as to save on time. Good. 
So I think it's caught enough. And then I'm going now to place the evaporating basin onto the water bath so that we can have the final evaporation. Remember, I just give it enough time to evaporate so that you can drive out all the water from our solid. You notice now there is no spitting out because we are not heating directly using the flame. Yeah, just allow it to heat. Remember, water is already hot, so it is already heating the process, so it won't take how much time for the process to take place. So there's no more spitting out, as you notice. Good. Now, I think already we have formed our solid. We have recovered our solid back. Let's just give it one minute. Good. Already have recovered our salt. And let us let us see the result. Uh, good. Oh, it's very hot. So there we have it. We have recovered our salt. That is the white solid you can see. That is our sodium chloride that has been recovered from the solution of sodium chloride. So you notice all the water has been driven out and we have remained with our salt, which is sodium chloride. So by doing this, we have been able to separate our solid from the solution. Thank you.